from In the Watchful Gnome by Lisa Bell, illustrated by Arunaroy Gospishwash. To Henry and Graham, always follow your dreams. That is so cute. <laughs> Once upon a time, News 6 anchor Lisa Bell planted a vegetable garden with her two boys, Henry and Graham, you see there. A simple family activity grew into a story idea, and before you knew it, Norman, the watchful gnome, was born. And Lisa released her first children's book back in January. We're happy to announce Norman's back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> join us now, New Six Anchor and children's book author Lisa Bell. Welcome. Thanks Thank for being you. up early. It's Thank exciting you. exciting to see you this time of day. So for folks who don't know, tell us how Norman the gnome started. I know our friend Ginger had a role in this. She had a big role <laughs> in this. So a couple years ago, I took my boys to Lou Gardens. They fell in love with the vegetables vegetable garden and I thought you know this is something that we need I had a garden growing up I think it's so important to try and get your kids outside to let them understand where their food actually comes from and to introduce them to vegetables so I thought it would be a fun little activity to do little did I know what it would turn into <laughs> so we planted a garden the next day a gnome was in our garden <laughs> that Ginger Gadsden had planted there so my son Henry named him Norman and at night I would of course, read traditional stories to him before they went to bed. So many of them, though, were about trains or trucks or construction sites. And I wanted something a little different, so we just started writing our own stories. So I like to tell people that these are kid-tested and approved because my kids <laughs> helped write them. They were my first focus group. And so I would come up with lines, and they would say, no, Mommy, I don't like that, or let's do something like this. So this book, I'm so happy about. It has a knock-knock joke in it. <laughs> It has oh, yeah. a rainbow, so you know it's it's a big hit. So Henry is really into knock knock jokes now. He so is. tell us what the knock knock joke is. Did he write this one? Okay, so he helped. Um, <laughs> Henry's five and Graham is three. My first book, of course, was a nighttime story, Norman the Watchful Gnome. This one is part of what I call my learning series. This is all about colors. It goes through all the colors of the rainbow, and so it says Norman the Gnome has colorful friends. Some stand tall, some lie low. All together, they're a beautiful rainbow, and it goes through. Well, once you get to page. Green, uh, Green Artichoke tells Norman a funny knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Let us put our heads together oh. and play something silly. <laughs> oh, oh, thank I you. That. I think someone oh, back, yes. there, laughed. So, yes. back there. Super Steve is back there. And it just goes through. I think it's got a great message too, which is also one, something that I wanted to incorporate just a message of diversity and inclusion and mm -hmm. friendship. And uh, I think kids will love it. So. And right now, I guess, you know, now that the, the little brothers are growing up together, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, Henry can read to Graham more oh, now than... Absolutely, yes. So even just at school, Henry has taken these books in and has shared them with his classmates. He's in kindergarten now. And um, it's fun. It's been a great experience for them. It's also, you know, this whole process, one of the reasons also why I wanted to do this is to absolutely show my boys what you can do. You have an idea. You put pen to paper, mm -hmm. you know, and see where it goes and see where the path will take you. And so it's been very exciting for us as a whole family to do this together. And I mean, Alessia is two and a half and Norman the Gnome is just, you know, another part of the family with the, with the first book. And what I found really nice about Norman the Watchful Gnome was more of a nighttime book. She also related to the vegetables. So when I actually yes. put vegetables and new vegetables on her plate, she knew what they were. So it was just, it was not just a bedtime book. It was, she was learning without really knowing she was And learning. I will say, like, I've been blown away at the response from mm -hmm. kids. I hear so many parents, people that I don't even know, come up to me and say, oh, my child loves Norman the Gnome or my child wants to try tomatoes or broccoli or whatever because of Norman the Gnome. And people, when they see us out, and my three-year-old especially, will just go to town on vegetables. You saw them this oh, weekend. Yeah. yeah, and so, you know, it is great, and I think it's it's got a great message, and uh, I'm glad that it's coming out now, right before the holidays. Great Christmas gift for kids. You Open know, it's something stocking. that they don't have. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. um, no, I'm really happy about it. And I've, been able, I've had a great opportunity to go and speak to so many kids in our community. I've been able to team up with the Adult Literacy League and speak to a lot of kids, uh, BPK groups, and plant gardens with them. So it's been a big boys and girls. Experience. Yes, boys and girls club. So it's been it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. you have been very busy and coming in here to anchor in the afternoon. <laughs> right, but many days out planting gardens and reading to kids <laughs> in the morning you before know, you get here. And and I say all the time, we also have our Florida Foodie podcast, mm -hmm. and it's such a shame that in Florida there's such a huge issue with food insecurity. And so I think this really ties into it. I mean. We should be able to grow our own food. I know it's not always very easy, but it is 
um, maybe a beginning step mm -hmm. in kind of tackling that huge issue. So food insecurity, literacy, helping little kids, it's all it's in what, one book. That's what all it's right, all about. Where can we get yeah. it? Yeah. So you can get it uh, at my website, normanknownbooks.com, free shipping, or you can go to amazon.com. It's also available at the Lou Gardens Gift Shop, the Discover Downtown Information Center, and several stores in College Park, Infusion Tea, Good Crowd, and Gratitude Coffee. So it's great places. Yeah. All right. And I hear you can even get signed copies. If oh, you, you can. If you order from the website, <laughs> yes. If you nice. would like an autographed copy, uh, just send me a message and I will sign it to whoever you want. So, awesome. yeah. Great little stocking stuffers. Yes. Sure is. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'll see you around 2.30. Sounds good. I'll be back <laughs> for News 6 at 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs>